Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to go over a few tips to help you stay hydrated throughout the day. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a video. I post Mindset Mondays and Fitness Fridays, so every Monday and Friday. Uh, let's dive right into it this is a highly requested subject and i know that a lot of people are still out there dehydrated and walking around with cotton mouth which is kind of gross but that is the reality of it and many people do think that coke and sodas are helping them stay hydrated and i'm trying to help you break that news by letting you know that that is not the case here are some steps for you to take away to help you stay on track to becoming your greatest version, as well as staying hydrated. Ding. All right, first things first, tip number one, make sure to drink a glass of water first thing in the morning before you do anything. And what I personally love doing is adding some lemon into my water alongside with some apple cider vinegar. Uh, apple cider vinegar works amazing to uh, fight bacteria in your body it also gets rid of the mucus in your throat and just overall is great for your stomach and digestive tract so apple cider vinegar is definitely in there for me and as well as lemon so I love squeezing in some fresh lemon first thing in the morning because it helps with the alkalinity of the water and it just is super purifying overall for your body so if you want glowy skin girlfriends make sure to drink that lemon water first thing in the morning all right and this is a part of tip number one make sure to drink a glass of either tea or water right before bed this assures that you are going to get that hydration in right before going to sleep and your body is not is going to be dehydrated during the night but it's not going to be as bad so make sure that you're drinking that water right before bed it doesn't have to be a crazy amount a glass a cup is definitely fine you will not wake up in the middle of the night to go use the restroom for sure tip number two is to drink water right before each meal and this has helped me in the past with binge eating and making sure that I'm not overeating obviously um, so when we drink water before a meal, our stomach and the our stomachs expand, sending our minds a signal that we are already partially full. So when you do eat that meal, you are going to be fuller faster and you won't overeat. Uh, you are less likely to overeat, right? So your mind's gonna get that signal, hey, we're full, no more food, cut it off, cut it off, okay? Cut it off. Tip number three, set alarms. And this has helped me so much along my journey, um, especially when I was starting. I was not the best with tracking my water intake and setting four alarms throughout the day to kind of help me like stay on track, be like, bitch, drink your water, like set an alarm. Literally, you could just put the little description on your alarm, drink water, H2O. They also have apps where you can track your water intake throughout the day, which I think is incredible. Be sure to take advantage. I know that my fitness pal app does have that feature. So if you are someone tracking your calories in that application, make sure to also track your water so that way you know what whether or not you are staying on track with that. Just to let you guys know, as an add-on to this tip, you can figure out your water intake by inputting your age, weight, height, as well as your environment into this certain application and it'll literally generate the amount of water that you should be drinking for your specific goal and body weight. So go ahead and check that out. I will link it down below. Tip number four is to drink water before your workout. And this is something that I have been doing on a consistent basis it is literally my mantra i have to drink water before my workout otherwise my body will cramp i don't feel like i'm getting a good enough pump when i'm not hydrated and i'm not saying that you should drink water like immediately before the gym but definitely try to get water in 30 minutes to 45 to 30 minutes before you work out uh drink a glass of water or you can even chug it before the gym whatever works best for you i know that some people do get nauseous when they chug water before a workout my body has accustomed to it so it's not a problem but if you are someone that's beginning at the gym be sure to get some water in before your workout 
that way you're not cramping and it's a nice blissful workout tip number five drink water after your workout did you guess that one good because this one is super important our bodies lose nutrients and a lot of water while we sweat and perspire throughout our workouts so be sure to replenish your body with the proper hydration and water and I always recommend alkaline water for any type of hydration but if you do not have alkaline water accessible to you be sure to get any kind of water in just to make sure to replenish those um, water stores it will not retain as much water when you are staying hydrated make sure to flush those toxins out and anyway let's get right back into it tip number six is to carry around a water bottle and I absolutely love this because there are so many cute water bottles out there you guys go grab yourself one from Marshalls TJ Maxx Amazon you are in the world really they have cute water bottles I'm promising you that and I know that a lot of you guys are like oh I already carry a lot of shit around okay I don't need an extra thing in my hand and I totally get you girl but be sure to go grab yourself a water bottle like this one is cute I got this last week and I have been attached to it ever since it's literally perfect it's like cute you know I don't know it just blends in with everything and it matches everything else that I'm wearing so Valenti shout out to the sh to the modeling show that I was in but yeah this is cute it's small it I don't know how much how many ounces this can hold it doesn't really tell me but just carry around a water bottle and make sure that you're getting those that hydration in throughout the day so that way you're not dehydrated your body will thank you later your skin will thank you later every cell in your body will thank you later so if you guys like this video be sure to leave a like and thank you so much for tuning in to my six tips on staying hydrated and as always have a wonderful weekend i'll see you guys on monday for mindset monday peace